part one, four most attacks at level two, Thera, and one with three heroes. Now, here's a solo shot at the 420,000 health point level two Lonely Warrior Thera. This is Bortmos and his beastly Red Nomad. I'm easy. This is Easy Street Gaming. What's up, everybody? Lost my voice, so uh, you got half an easy. Pretty much normal. <laughs> So, we get to watch part two. Part one, he was, Vormos was able to beat Thera with three heroes. I, I, it takes me two attacks. He beats him with three heroes. Mainly, this hero right here, which is the Red Nomad. Red Nomad King, natural five star. You gotta, you gotta roll a turtle to get him. So you gotta get a little luck to get him. Then once you get him, you have to use him in the right situation and put the right war patterns on him. Um, many people do what I've done, and they have an, an attack war pattern on him. They use attack on his on his uh, on his helmet, on, on his right hand. A lot of people put speed on his left hand. Well, that's not what Vortmos did. We'll get into that a little more in a few more seconds. But really, the most important part of this attack is really embedded in the abilities of the Red Nomad. He's going to be able to do this no matter what. Um, that is his retaliation. It's called Ever Victorious. So Ever Victorious, just to, to break it down real quick, is every time he gets attacked by anyone, any enemy, he, ha he there's a 50% chance for him to retaliate and basically break order and retaliate against whoever hit him. So what that means is that as Thera's bringing in the reinforcements, she's bringing in the Archer Girls, the, uh, the Green Marksmen, and the more time the marksman attack, it's actually the more attacks th that um, the nomad actually gets off. And normally that's not a big advantage, but what makes it a big advantage is the war pattern that he's uh, that he's equipped with, and that's really the second key to the match. Now, when I made the overlays with the, like the key to the match, I thought that it would already say what it was. Oh, there it is. There it is, right there. Yeah. <laughs> key to the match, ever victorious. We've already gone over it, but. Uh, what a huge skill it is just in this application right here and so we can take this what he's doing right here and apply it to your ranked matches apply it to a, a lot of different areas and you can really see why there's a lot of people talking about the, the Red Nomad King and how they may have um, buffed and nerfed the nomads to, uh, un until red may be a little stronger than blue I know it took me a while to get that out but if you just take this example right here and watch what he does against their uh, this is definitely the, the hardest lonely warrior uh, the other two are not nearly as hard as there because they don't have the backup they don't have the, the they don't have the archer girls with her and he, he just basically manhandles uh, Thera his health points never went below 50% so always stayed above 50% on health there's this constantly going down now if you would put blue nomad in this situation with the same war pattern it just wouldn't be as effective because he doesn't have the retaliation now he'll be able to get more hit points back but this you just really got to consider uh, red maybe even an equal to blue I, I don't know what do you think leave a comment in the comment section so in case you don't know already, the war pattern that Vormos uses is called Ian. The Ian war pattern is a 35% life steal. That means every time the Red Nomad strikes anybody, he gets 35% of the damage that he does back on him. So, not, but it's not as damage, it's as health. Because that made no damn sense at all. Easy. <laughs> so let's say if he attacks there, it does 10,000 damage. He's going to get 3,300 health points back at him. So, basically... The archer girls, the, the marksmen, are actually assets to the Red Nomad because when they come on, if his health is low, he strikes them a few times, he gets his health back up to full, then he hits Thera, and it's just this a constant cycle. I don't think he could I don't think he could do it without the Archer Girls. Now, one of the other keys that we had I had talked to Bort most a lot about this is he has a, a the complete war pattern. In other words, 
he paid very close attention to the second through fifth attributes. He made sure he got percentage on everything. He made sure he had speed and resistance because you have to have those. Um, so when you're building your war pattern, pay close, close attention to the second attribute, the third, the fourth. Uh, you may even, if you know you're going to, like right now, I'm actually building an E in war pattern. And I'm, I'm going to put on uh, the red, red nomad. I have to do it because look how, look how successful it is. So I'm actually building it right now, waiting for the next event that we can take off the war patterns for free. Um, so maybe something you want to do. You may be able to upgrade some of the war patterns kind of out of order just to see what you have on the second through fifth attribute. So you know you can build up something good. So I am out of talent time. Red Nomad can solo level 2 Thera. Want a special thanks to Vortmos for making this possible. Put a lot of work into this. Hope you enjoyed the video. Like, subscribe. Thanks everyone for subscribing to the channel. Can't thank you all enough. Till next time, it's been easy. Take care, everybody.